Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to use Jupyter Notebook to write and run our Python code. The first step is going to be opening the following link in your browser. So to use Jupyter Notebook, you're going to have two options. You can either use Jupyter Notebook online using the online version, or you can install it on your local machine. So first we're going to be looking at how we can use the online version. So we're going to scroll down till you see Jupyter Notebook, the classic notebook interface, and you're going to press on the try it in your browser button. And once you're redirected to this page, you're going to scroll down and choose Jupyter Notebook, and it's going to redirect you to a new notebook file. Once you're here, you can delete the template code by pressing on the delete button. The rectangular box you see right now is called a cell and you can have multiple cells in your notebook. And one of the key benefits of using Jupyter Notebook is that using these cells, you can run your code individually. So for example, we can pass in print hello world. And to run this piece of code, you need to make sure that you have selected the cell you can verify that by the blue bar that is on the left of the cell and you can press on the run button. So as you can see, the output is displayed underneath the cell. Now you may have noticed that there are square brackets to the left of each cell and the square brackets is a number which is going to represent when the cell was executed. Since the first code we executed was the first cell, we have the number one inside the square brackets. And if we were to run the cell again, we would see that the number is incremented to two. Now in the second cell, we're going to define a function, let's call it square, which takes in a number, and it's simply going to return the square of that number. Now when using other editors, in order to see the result, you're going to have to call the function and pass in an input, let's put in 10, in order to display the output of the function call and other editors you would have to pass it to the print function but when using the Jupyter notebook you can simply call the function and press on the run button and it's going to display the output this functionality also works for variables so you can have a variable called the name we're going to give it the value abel and we're simply going to put in the name of the variable without a print statement and if we run the cell, we can see that Abel gets displayed. So this is how you use the online version of the Jupyter Notebook. Now let's see how you can use Jupyter Notebook on your local machine. To use Jupyter Notebook on your local machine, we're going to have to install it. So you're going to open the command prompt and you're going to pass in the command pip install notebook. The pip command gets installed by default when you install Python to your local machine. So if you get an error that says command not found, make sure that you have Python installed on your local machine. You're going to use this command if you're running a Windows machine. If you're using Mac, you need to run the command pip3 install notebook. Since I'm on a Windows machine, I'm going to run pip install notebook. And once the installation is finished, in order to launch the Jupyter Notebook, you're going to run the command Jupyter Notebook and press enter. This is going to open a Jupyter Notebook on your local machine, which you can verify by looking at the link, which says local host. That means it's running on your local machine. And you can press on the new button and choose notebook. And we're going to select the Python 3 kernel and you can execute your code the same way we executed code in the online version. So we can have print hello world and we can press on the run button and it's going to run our code. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more programming content.